Hello, it's Sarah and Maya. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Maya's here with me today. So I wanted to share some more applique clay pieces. I finished my boxes, so I'll get to those in a minute. Um, I ran out of bezels, so I just ordered some more from uh, Resin Obsession. I'm, I love these big ones. I think they're different than anything I've seen. So this one, I think I showed these two the other day, but um, so I have this one. I just changed the background color pretty much, but still did it in the same style. Um, I think I mixed, I was running out of the blue, so I like mixed some white in there to do that background. And then this one, I totally changed up the colors. Um, I, I got orange and yellow clay. So actually I think I used the yellow for the centers on this one, because I was using gold. On my original pieces, I was using gold clay for the centers, but then, um, so I used the yellow. And I like these colors, how they turned out. What do you think, Mai? I like them too. Yeah, I did uh, black centers on these. Kind of, It kind of made me think of um, Black Eyed Susans and stuff, I don't know. So that was that one. Then I did two little round ones, um, stuck with the yellow and white on that one and just did all daisies on this one. I think the red background on this is a mix. I had some of the red glitter clay left and I just mixed it with something, but that one turned out pretty cool. So just yellow and white. So that's those. Now I have my boxes. So I showed you this box and I did varnish this with uh, the satin varnish, the, my Ceram coat. I bought this and I'm liking it. And I actually saw a varnish review the other day where she really didn't like the Sculpey um, varnish. So I, I'm glad I didn't get that. It just wasn't um, a reasonable price either. Like this was w way more, uh, what am I trying to say? I don't know, Maya. Um, <coughs> it was just worth the, the, you got more for your money, what I'm trying to say. All right, so we saw this one. So this, I think, is probably my favorite. I made another one today, but I absolutely love this red glitter clay. It is super pretty. <clears throat> I don't know if the camera's picking up all the glitter. Um, I put Joy, and I like, I tried some like, uh, I don't know what they would be called, but like a Black Eyed Susan. That's kind of what I was going for with these pointy flowers. Um, and I just really like how it turned out. I really like it. I think I'm keeping this one. And I just did this one today. So for comparison, and again, I tried to keep it very similar colors and even placement, but it, they're just not the same. And what I did on this one was I put a little heart with the swirls. You see the heart? Yeah. I made a heart out of the swirls there. And um, I put love on this one instead of joy. But I really love the first one I made. I don't think I can sell it. That has to be my baby. So I did those two. And I love the, um, this is dots. This is the dots background. And they're both done in a satin varnish. Then this one is pretty cool. This is totally different. I saw a tree, like pendant um, video that gave me the idea. And I saw uh, something else that gave me the idea. But the twisted brown clay was a really cool thing. So I played with that and only made like two of the big branches twisted too. And then I just started adding clay to the trunk, um, more branches and stuff. And just really wanted to have a lot of um, leaves. And I put blue flowers and white because I hadn't really played with any blue. Okay. Um, and just thought, I don't know. I, I don't know that I've really ever seen any blue flowers on a tree before, but this is the tree of hope. So maybe there are blue flowers on the tree of hope. I don't know. Um, I did this background with the cobblestone, um, texture thingy. I don't know what these are called officially. What are they called? Texture sheets. Um, so it's cobblestones and this clay is just the per fuchsia pearl, which I love the fuchsia pearl, so pretty. So that's pretty cool, I like it. I like how that one turned out too. And then this was the last one I did today. Uh, I went back to these colors. Actually, I 
did the tree yesterday. This one I did today, but I kind of took uh, these colors from this pendant and went for it. And this, I didn't have enough um, of the sparkle blue. This is like a glittery blue color. Um, what else did I use that for? I think the background of this too. Yeah, I kind of copied this whole pendant, but I didn't have enough to finish the bottom. So I'll just um, have to, so see you just draw a line along the bottom and then um, put glue on it and then you cover the bottom. So that's the bottom. But um, I put hope and I just, you know, put flowers throughout. And what was I gonna say? Oh, this is sand. I'm not sure I love this background sand. I, I really, really love the dots. I think the dots turn out super cool. And I actually do these indented instead of out. Like I could do them out or in. Did I do both of them the same? Yeah, I think I did in. Yeah, they're indented dots instead of doing them out. Um, yeah, look what Maya's doing. See, I think that would be super cute too. To just like, ha I should have totally done that. Put, um, I'm going to do that next. I'm going to embed a hummingbird. You know what, it's just that, that, huh? I told you to do that. Well, I didn't, you know what, there's not a lot of clay on the top of these for it to embed into, so I'm going to have to use some type of glue. I have bacon bond or something. I have actually <sighs> Lisa Pavelka's glue, whatever it is, but, um, so anyway, that's that. That's my last box. I did all five. So I got to make another run to Home Depot. I mean Home Depot. My husband's going to Home Depot. Hobby Lobby because um, I like these. These are really small. I like that they're smaller. They're more petite. Um, actually, this is a matte varnish, this one. And I actually, I think I got to pick up some matte varnish because I'm, I'm not thinking the high shine on some of these. Some of them it looks okay. Like I like that there's a gloss, but I think the matte is going to be what I'm going to go for. All right, you guys. Got anything to say, Mai? Bye. <laughs> all right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.